Howdy, everybody. Welcome back one more time again to the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show with yours truly, Redneck. And uh, this is a special October 13th edition. Uh, we've been playing music by one of our all-time favorite artists, Miss uh, Rachel Lipsky. So we've been uh, just enjoying a day of music here, man. It's a picnic on the radio. I got myself a bowl of grits and greens. I'm doing this up in style. And uh, it looks like we got a phone call now. So let me... um. Let me go ahead and uh, see if I can't pick up this phone and say, hello, who that? Hi, hello. Redneck. How are you? It's Rachel Lipsky. Oh, no, my goodness, the birthday girl herself. I am so glad to hear from you. Thank you so much, Miss Lipsky, for all the wonderful music, and uh, hopefully you can hear me all right. I sure can. Can you hear me okay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Pretty as a songbird. I can't believe you found us. You know, we, we just... Uh, Figure we like your music so much and figure y'all do so much for us as the fans putting your music out there that we'd honor you with a little birthday tribute. You are so sweet, Redneck. I really appreciate how much you guys support artists. It's really awesome. Well, we always said here that uh, this is your show. I'm just the host. So let's let's do this. Let's introduce you proper life for the folks that are out there listening. Um, I know we got uh, Miss Ramita is uh, checking in, and we got um, Asia's checking in. So there's a few people that are, are listening online. There may be some buffering going on because um, we've been playing your music, and so many people are listening and tuning in. So if there's a problem with this stream, we apologize, y'all. But let's get right into it. Introduce yourself. Tell folks who that, where you at. Let's hear from Miss Rachel Lipsky. Hi, everybody. Good day. My name is Rachel Lipsky, and uh, originally from Denver, Colorado, I now reside in Nashville, Tennessee, and I'm a country rock artist, uh, just trying to do it and living the dream. Well, we're enjoying what you're doing. Um, we got about a half dozen of of your songs here, and what I did was this: is like I always say, like I, uh, you know, I'm only going to play um my favorites and the problem that i got is like if i was just going to play my favorites then i'm stuck because i like them all here you know um and for <laughs> folks that have to listen i do I, listen i've been a fan of yours for a while i hope you know that we've been kind of stalking you online which is um the beauty of facebook and playing your music um when we had the uh terrestrial radio show and and um like you're in every every playlist every ipod every music device that I got is uh, something in there. So um, what I want to do is let's talk about the music that you have right now and talk yeah. about, I know you got some up, some new stuff coming out and then tell f- people where they can find you, you know, either online or, or um, live in a show. So um, you tell me where you want to start and I'll just listen. Oh, sure thing. Um, so as far as um, music that's out right now, we, released a single first and then I released um, an EP and uh, we then released another single just this past year actually um, cmt.com world premiered our video for it also the country music channel in Australia picked up uh, the music video and they've been playing it for the past few months and uh, I don't know if you remember, but we won the Pepsi Southern Original Contest, and out of that contest, we were able to record some brand new music. We got some free studio time, which helped a lot as an independent, and uh, so we've got five more songs that we haven't released yet, but I'm putting the five we released with the five new ones to make my first full album, and that'll be coming in 2017. Well, we're excited about that. Yeah, I'm very familiar with that. That was uh, 2013. You were Female Artist of the Year, and uh, I, right? Uh, that was a uh, that was a different award, but it was almost in the same uh, time frame, 2014. Oh, yes, right. That was the Independent Music Association or something like right. Inter- yeah. Inter- independent Music, yeah. right? So that exactly. was 2013. And since then, I think. Listen, um, I got some friends of mine. On what, what are um, they? Were you doing the PBR circuit? That you, we, I know that you played. Um, I know you did a NASCAR gig, right? Or, or yeah, uh, so, I've been um so blessed that they've busy. given me the opportunity to uh sing the national anthem, which is one of my most proud songs to sing. 
uh, I sang it a couple times for the Professional Bull Riders Association uh, at Bridgestone Arena here in Nashville, and then I sang at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Um, I actually just sang at Vanderbilt University on Sunday, been anthem. So it's been fun. Well, how are you finding time? And now, are you are you actively touring now, or are you just focusing on putting out this new album? So I do have some local Nashville gigs. I do have a, a couple of out-of-state gigs coming up as well. Um, but I've been concentrating a lot on writing and also getting everything together for the album release. All right. Well, we're looking forward to that. Let's do this here. Um, let's tell people where they can find you on uh, website, Facebook, whatever is the best way for them to find you and your music. And then we're going to talk about some of your songs and play some more of that music. Sounds great. If y'all don't know by now, you are listening to the Gumbo Yaya radio show here with Redneck. And my name is Rachel Lipsky. You can find me at rachellipsky.com and it's spelled Lip Sky, but it rhymes with whiskey. You can also find me Facebook, Rachel Lipsky Music, or on Twitter and Instagram at Rachel Lipsky. All right, thank you, Miss Lipsky. And you know, since uh, you did that so wonderful and you mentioned whiskey, let's uh, let's talk Ready Set Whiskey. Let's talk about that. Tell us about that and introduce it for the listeners, and we'll give that a play. Sounds great. Um, one of the new songs uh, hasn't been released yet. We were writing it um, with a couple friends of mine, and this line popped out. Uh, Dan said it and uh we ended up immediately looking at each other and going this is a whole song on its own ready set whiskey so we're like let's put that aside for next time and um we wrote it and uh we fell in love with it instantly so my name is Rachel Lipsky you're listening to Gumbo Yaya radio show here with Redneck and we're about to play ready set whiskey Like a shot in the arm, second wind hitting As I'm punching the clock, phone blowing up As I throw it in drive, setting up Where we're meeting up Friday night So close, I see the turn up ahead Road work, all I'm seeing is red Don't stop, take the shoulder Sunday drivers, move on
ready, set whiskey, man. That 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 goes right in the morning coffee, man. Put that right in my cup of chicory coffee I got going on here. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all just heard Ready, Set, Whiskey by the lovely and talented Miss Rachel Lipsky, the birthday girl. We've been doing a birthday tribute, playing um, some Rachel Lipsky music, and she checked with us, checked in with us. She's got her on hold right now. This is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, a worldwide home of the independent artists. And we're actually talking to one of the most popular, most sought after independent artists out there. The birthday girl, Miss Lipsky, thank you so much. I love that song. Oh, thank you so much. You know, here's the, here's the thing. You know that Miss um, Lipsky's popular because she's got her own Pandora station. I saw uh, that's that's up there, man. I tell you, people are <laughs> you know when you can, when you can go to Pandora and find an artist, you know they're they're doing better than uh than covers in a honky tonk. So good for you. God bless you, young lady. Oh, thank you so much. Well, it wouldn't have been you know I wouldn't have been able to do it without you all and the fans are everything, you know. Well, you certainly um, are, are kind to your fans. I mean, the fact that you're checking in with us is it, it means a lot to us, you know. And um, like I said, we we do this um, when we when we have the occasion, we have the chance. We like to recognize the artists that um, we we wouldn't be on the air, we wouldn't be doing what we're doing if and it wasn't for y'all out there making the music, you know. So um, I um, it's almost kind of a guilty pleasure, you know, kind of like a, a sin coming on for me, you know what I mean. Oh, awesome! Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. That's awesome. And I mean, we could do this all day long, but without you, especially Redneck, I mean, you know, uh, radio just gives fans the music, you know, and feeds it to them. And you know, it's just we all need to work together and come together, and that's how we all make some noise, right? Absolutely. And it's one of the things that I like about you. We had, we had uh, chatted before. We mentioned uh, that um, I did a birthday shout out for uh, a, f- a friend of yours, Miss uh, Lisa Matassa. And, um, yes. you know, I like the way you always give credit. So let's do that. Let's talk about the people that are playing on this last album and your up and coming album. Anybody out there, guitar, fiddle, banjo, um, your washboard, anybody you want to give credit to, give mention to? Oh, man. Um one of my biggest, biggest advisors and helpers and the reason I've been able to record such amazing music and, and he always pushes me to be better and, and do more and um, work harder is, is Denny Carr. He's been, you know, he helped me achieve so many of my dreams and helped me connect with people that made music great. Um, he connected me with Shane Barrett, who's my producer, and I love because um, you know he cares enough, and he anybody that believes in you uh, is such a huge gift because a lot of times people don't believe in you, especially in the beginning. Um, and then Shane, you know, was helping me record all this great music. Uh, we've got Russ Paul on pedal steel. We have. Ethan Pilzer has always been my band leader um, in the studio playing bass. Tommy Harden has played drums for me on all my music and is amazing. Um, uh, Jonathan Robison, uh, he was playing acoustic guitar. Jess King on uh, electric guitar. We have Brad Winters, who is our amazing uh, vocal engineer. Chad Carlson was our track engineer. Um, want to give a big shout out to the Castle in Franklin for giving us that free studio time, Ruckus Room, Jamie Tate for mixing our music so great. Also, uh, Yes Master for mastering the music. I mean, it's so amazing. I, I was writing out the other day uh, everybody that was involved, even in just one song. And it's like about 20 people it's so amazing how many people it takes to come together to just make a great recording and you know put your best foot forward and um so i definitely wanted to give a shout out to all those people but also the people that want to write with me i mean you know it's it's such a blessing to have that and have these people in my life that you know not only send me great songs, but also believe in you enough to want to write together and make great music together. 
you know, I think that's probably, you know, is an attribute, kind of, I guess, a testament to your talent. And it's one of the things in this business um, is that talented people like to surround themselves with talented people. So that's the reason, Miss Rachel, that they're doing that is because of your talent and your, and and that's for sure, you know. So, um, Thank you know, you, take that as a compliment. You know, we, you. I, I'm a fan of yours, so I'd be lying if I said otherwise. But I, you know, um, <laughs> but I, I think that is, I think you know, the talent is there. And I have a favorite song on here. And we're gonna get to that, but yeah, you know, I mentioned, like I said, you know, it's kind of like, I mean, I, I get, I get to play all my favorite music, talk with my favorite artists, you know, and I feel guilty about it. Like I said, you know, it's kind of almost a sin. So you know where I'm going with this, don't you? I sure do, Redneck. You are listening to Gumbo Yaya Radio Show with Redneck, and my name is Rachel Lipsky. You're about to hear I Feel a Sin coming on. coming on and this is our all Lipsky all day airplay celebrating the birthday of Miss Rachel Lipsky. We've got the birthday girl on hold and uh, we've been chatting with her here on the Gumbo Yaya radio show, the worldwide home of the independent artists playing your music for you. So let's pick up the phone here and see if she ain't done fell asleep on us. Hi Miss Lipsky, good morning. Hi Redneck, not asleep. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> hey, listen, you know what? This is what I like about that is um is that you say you talk about the influences in in your music and you mentioned Mary Chapin as one of them. And that yes. that right there is is I can just kind of I kind of get a Mary Chapin vibe out of that, you know. So um Yay, but uh that's awesome. I don't I don't think she uh she could do that song the same justice you do it. Oh, thank you. I girl. like that song a lot. I love that beat that up. T- man, if y'all ain't out there two-stepping this time of day, man, you should be, because that's some good music right there, I guarantee. <laughs> yeah, that's such a fun song. It is. And now, have you got time for a couple more? I sure do. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to chat a little bit more, but let's get some music in here for your fans, because uh, uh, we just got a request for um, Red Naked. 
They're asking me, hey, Redneck, what about Rednecked? Is that your song? Did you? No, I don't think you wrote that for me. So let's tell folks who you wrote it for. It wasn't for me. <laughs> well, we can definitely dedicate it to you, Redneck. Um, we wrote <laughs> that song um, just, it, it was an idea. Uh, one of the writers that I walked into the room had, and I mean, we wrote it so quick. And it came so naturally, and it's been one of my staple songs. I love it. It's just an upbeat, feel good, you know, forget about all your troubles for these next three minutes, and uh, let's get rednecked. You are about to hear Rednecked on the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show here with Redneck, and my name is Rachel Lipsky. I'm wild line in a country blue. Getting red naked Homemade stage outside of town Field full of farm kids coming unwound Beer in the cooler, hooch in the jar Rocking like a half-acre roadhouse bar July pushing up that mercury I told you I wasn't. So I'm just sitting here having myself some um, breakfast. It's a picnic on the radio. Got me some grits and greens, some chicory coffee. Got Miss Rachel Lipsky on the other line. And um, it's our special edition all day, all play Rachel Lipsky. It's a birthday tribute this October 13th, 2016. And uh, Miss Rachel, thank you so much. Hey, thank you for having me, Redneck. It's my pleasure entirely. Now, here's my question for you. Bones. That was two twenty. That was two thousand thirteen, right? Around yes, then? it was. The, yeah. And then the then the band Perry wouldn't kind of ripped you off on that one. I think they stole their dig two from you. I think they stole the idea from you. I'm gonna give you the credit. Oh, thank you so much. Because <laughs> when I heard that song, when I heard the band Perry song, I was like, I heard this is a remake. I'm thinking like this is a remake, and I'm like, oh no, it's the it's the same vibe. I like yours. Uh, I, I, I love your song. I, I do. So I don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg, but um, you're number one in my book. 
Oh, thank you so much, Redneck. Now, this, all these songs, are these co-writes? Uh, is this stuff you wrote? Or are these songs that were pitched to you? Tell me about Bones. So Bones was one that um, was pitched to me. I found it. Actually, uh, Denny, my advisor, he found it uh, was back in 2011. He shared it with me, and he was like, this would be killer as a female because the original writer, he wrote it by himself, Keith Gaddis. He cut it for his album that he released in 2009. And, um, oh, man, he has such a cool story. He was uh, Dwight Yoakam's band leader on the road for forever, and had his own career, and but he was kind of, it was before the Al Dean sort of uh, country rock really hit home, and uh, so he got bounced. He had a record deal here, and then he got told he was too rock, so he moved to L.A., got a record deal when he was in L.A., and told him they were, he was too country, so they dropped him. And then he came back here to Nashville, and um, and then just over the past few years has had amazing success as a songwriter for um, multiple Kenny Chesney number ones, George Strait number one. Um, but if you guys get a chance, look him up, Keith Gaddis. But uh, this song, Bones, uh, I had in my pocket uh, for a few years. I just didn't have the money to do a justice recording of it. And uh, we recorded it beginning of 2013. And, uh, yes, Gary Allen also cut it at the same time. And uh, so that we kind of, that was a interesting, you know, just I love Gary Allen so much. Uh, but it was just so funny how I fondly had the money to do it. And then somebody, you know, bigger cut it. But that's okay. It's such a great song. And, you know, I was put out the female version and um we also do a special live version because my friend Mars Brown uh wrote a rap to it. So uh we do a rap version. You guys can find that on my YouTube channel or uh I just posted a video of a surprise performance we did for our military uh police officers when we were overseas entertaining our troops and you guys can catch the special live version there. Yeah, I want to, um, after we play this song, I want to talk about um, you and thank you so much for everything you do for our troops. I know that um, that you're very active in that role. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's let's play Bones for our, for your um, for your fans. And if you don't mind, you want to come back and um, we'll we'll chat a little bit about the military and the, your efforts there to support our troops. And then go out of here with my favorite Rachel Lipsy song. Sounds great, Redneck. So you are listening to Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, and you're about to listen to Bones by Rachel Lipsky. I've been out here digging a hole. The matter I get, the deeper I go.
Let's just leave this town Yeah, probably for the sun goes down Cause the devil already knows my name And you can ask him yourself when I see you again I got balls to pick with you I should have known You can't be true Me and the devil We want what's due You should know when you get Man, I tell you what, y'all don't want to make that little girl upset. No how, no way. <laughs> That's a message, folks. I guarantee. Ooh, I'm 20 years of my net Yankee pride, man. We ain't got no shovels on this property. <laughs> you know, ain't no be no holes dug. <laughs> man, that is good. I everything about that. The, the instrumental, everything is that's just that's good stuff right there. Gary Allen's going, damn it! I wish I could sing like that. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. Yeah, it was. Um, Look, you know, I'm. We kind of. I like to pride myself on knowing good music, you know. Um, and that's what we do here. We take artists like yourself who don't have the huge commercial backing that it takes to to make it into hip hop, you know, pop country, you know, that kind of thing. Um. You know, you're not cookie cutter. You'll fit into any, you know, any format, any radio format, just that you happen to work very well in the country format, you know. But, that, you know, that's top 40 as well. So, um, you know, that's what I love about your music. And then as an artist, how you're so readily accessible to your fans and to your public. For that. So you get your booking agent, um, to start making some phone calls, and you'll come out here and play some music for us, young lady. Awesome. I would love it. I We played a Taste of Country in upstate New York, Hunter Mountain, uh, 2014 and 2015, two years back to back. And um, we were trying to get on uh, this in 2017. So keep your fingers crossed that we'll be able to come back up for that. Well, you'll be there. You'll be there. There's no, no doubt about it. And um, I was upset that I couldn't make it up there to, uh, to see y'all play because um you know, I had a friend of mine, Ben Rush, was up there for for one of those events, and um, you know, a couple other artists that uh, that are friends of the show. But this is this is your birthday show, so we're not going to drop no names. And um, oh, no worries. Now I'm excited right here because I, people tell you, man, that redneck. I'm a sucker for songs about rivers, rain, whiskey, and train. And you 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 pretty much got them all in them in that that block of songs right there. So, my favorite song by you is Addicted to the Rain. I love, love, love that song. Good. Yay. Yeah, that's such so, uh, a... Where did yeah. that come from? That came from, that was pitched to me as well. Um, so I wrote, I co-wrote Ready, Set, Whiskey and Red Naked. Addicted to the Rain was pitched to me. Jim Riley and Lauren Lucas were the writers on that. And good Lord, from the moment I heard that song, I uh, I was like, man, this is deep. This hits you to your core. And I feel like so many people can relate to this. And um, I had to cut it. So that's what we did. I'm sorry. I'm over here. I, I, I ain't lying to you when I said I was having grits and greens for breakfast. So I had a mouthful. I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, good but, um, for you. <laughs> washing that, I got me some, I got me some chicory coffee, washing that down. You know, you can take the, 
you can take the boy out of New Orleans, but you can't take the New Orleans out of the boy. You know what I mean? So um, no, no, you never forget where yeah. you come from. <laughs> so and now this is what this is what I like about you. You you about as a, a world traveler. You're a Colorado girl living in Nashville with a California phone number. How's that happen? So um, born in uh, in Denver, lived in Aurora, good portion of my formative years, and my dad got transferred to California um for his job and of course you know there were there were three of us uh girls and my mom and uh we went to California so I lived there went to high school there and then um you know moved to Nashville to pursue the dream start living it and get better um and then uh I know we wanted to talk about two uh going overseas, but um, it, that had been a lifelong dream of mine. I've always, there's always a special spot in my heart for um, for our military. And, you know, I, I tried reaching out to USO and they, you know, they only take over celebrities and bigger names, so that's fine. But I found uh, another company, Armed Forces Entertainment, and... Um, there's an application process for sure. I saw a glimmer of hope there. And so I kept applying and it took me a really long time. I kept getting rejected. And uh, finally, January 2013, I remember when I got the email and it made me emotional because I couldn't believe I actually got accepted into the database and you know, there's a disclaimer on the website. Just because you get accepted and put in the database doesn't mean you're actually going to get a tour. But the fact I got one step closer meant the world to me. And then two weeks later, I'm not kidding you, I get an email from the promoter who, and he was like, I've got a tour for you. Can you come in May? I was like, of course I can, you know, so that's where it started. And we went, um, it was two and a half weeks the first time in 2013 and uh, five different countries and it was amazing and uh, so I'm addicted. I love it so much. Uh, we get to go to Djibouti, Africa, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, and Abu Dhabi and um, I, every year I talk uh, the promoter into giving us a few more days over there and uh, we just got back in June from our third tour and uh, we were over there for 20 days for three weeks so it, well you have to make sure that you let us know when you're going over there next time so that um, we can promote it we can do what we can to um to help you with um, whatever care packages you're bringing over there Whatever we can do to help you as far as financing the trip, the tour, we'll shout it out. Even if it's $10, what we raise, whatever we can do, um, you please let us know because, um, you know, God bless you. God bless America. God bless our troops. And thank you for what you do for, uh, the people that, you know, keep this nation great. And, uh, you know, I, I, that your efforts for them is, you know, probably, you know, the morale that you bring is um, just as good as any other, you know, ground force troop out there. So thank you so much for what you do. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it so much. So um, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go out of here with Addicted to the Rain. This is the Gumbo Yaya Radio Show, all-day birthday tribute to Miss Rachel Lipsky. We're going to archive this. We'll put this in rotation. People can go back and listen to this interview over and over all day, Miss Rachel. And uh, we go out of here at the end of that. So. Um, I'm going to let you go after you introduce this song. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Redneck, for having me on your Gumbo Yow Yow radio show. You're about to listen to Addicted to the Rain. My name is Rachel Lipsky. <laughs> you go even though it hurts me so like a flower that's lost all its bloom I'm in pieces on the ground and as crazy as it sounds 
I've grown addicted to the rain Don't the wind make a lonesome sound When it's whispering your name With every cloud you roll back around And somehow I remain thirsty for the pain Addicted to the rain So what's the use in finding someone else We might have our day in the sun Soon enough the rain will come You'll be back on my mind again Just when I thought the storm would break Like a habit I can't shake Addicted to the rain Don't the wind make a lonesome sound When it's whispering your name With every cloud you roll back around And somehow I remain thirsty for the pain I've grown addicted to the rain The silver lining But I might miss all the thunder and lightning So let the trees bend Let the darkness set in Let your memory come back to me Did